Hey, welcome back. I was working on this WordPress website and I encountered this fatal error. This isn't the first time I encountered this error, but the first few times that it did, I was really worried because I thought I broke something. That's not the case. Solving this problem is simple. Let me show you how. First, let's go to the website. Now you see the fatal error on the page. Note, WordPress by default does not show fatal errors like this because your users shouldn't see these kind of errors on the page. So you might instead get a blank white screen in case there was an error. All right, so how do we go about solving this? In my case, we've identified that the error is caused by the bridge plugin. So I want to deactivate bridge. But the problem is I can't log into the WP dashboard to do it. So I'll have to do it another way. Using cPanel file manager or an FTP client like FileZilla, go to your domain folder, find WP content, and then inside that, find the plugins folder. Rename this plugins folder to anything else. I'm going to rename mine to plugins-pause. This deactivates all plugins because WordPress looks for all plugin related stuff in a folder called plugins and we just renamed it. So now all plugins have been deactivated. Now head back to the browser and refresh. You'll see that the site loads. Log into the dashboard. Head on over to the plugin section and you will find all the plugins are missing. But now that you're logged in, go back to the plugins folder and rename it back to plugins. Come back to the browser and refresh. You will see all the plugins appear again. From here on, enable the plugins one by one to troubleshoot. You will see your site is back up. So summary, fatal error, not really that fatal. You can solve it in under a minute. Here's how you do it. Rename the plugins folder, log into the WordPress dashboard, rename the plugins folder back to plugins, come back in to the dashboard and start activating the plugins one by one and your site will be up. Well, that's it. See you soon.